box is full of cords, full of other stuff, and... Oh, yes! Yeah. Hey, I'm headed to another auction. Get over to meet Ohio Hulk. I'll have his link posted in my description in the video. So make sure you check out his page. I'm showing him what to do. He wants to get started on YouTube. Huber Heights, we're down at the auction. I did get approval to videotape, which is excellent. I am number 62. And I'm here with the Ohio Hulk, my buddy. We have a total of seven units to sell today. We had 12, we have lost five. We have $240 that number is? 62. 62. Yeah. Hi everyone, welcome back to Taking a Risk with George George. So today we're going to be going through all the boxes that we won in the unit yesterday. We got it for $240. Uh, so stay tuned and if you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you can see when I pop up again. Here we go, we got the first box. It's a home style box. I'm loving it. Good stuff in here. Right off the rip, we got the rainbow mixing bowls. So I'm definitely going to take that home, clean them up, and use them. Got a weird looking ashtray. A durable bowl. It's very durable. Just these nice plates. These are actually really nice. I might wash these up and keep these at my house. This would be my fine china. We got a nice set of those. The next thing that was on top of everything is this box, and right off the rip, I went through this. Well, I didn't go through this, but look at this. We got a Beauty and the Beast. It's like me and the Ohio Hulk. I'm the smart, pretty one, and he's the big, scary one. He's really a nice guy on the inside. I got an ice cream sundae for him. Helps calm him down. Oh, here we go. Some jewelry. We got friends. There we go. It's all for you everybody's favorite. A nice sharpened pencil with a decent eraser to chew on. Alright, but in this bag is actually something super interesting to me. It's a heated, chewed up neck pillow. So while I'm relaxing, it does have a power button, so it might vibrate and it might have heat. So while I'm relaxing, I can nibble. Yeah, just put that on your neck. And that I doggone miss you. Jeremy and George. All right, and then in the box we've got a leopard print leopard holster, some illegal cable, some ear care. Make sure you take care of yourself. Strange looking lightsaber. Oh, it's a, it's a pet lightsaber. Uh, uh, I bet them mice were using it to trim their nails and teeth. Some Axe body spray for my friend, he smells. Some dog tags for the doggos. Oh, and some, some black paint. And inside here, if you want to get a close look at that, oh, besides a fishing hook, that's a weird thing to find in this little, little box. There's a bunch of rat droppings, so maybe they made their nest in here. So I'm sad that I'm taking their home away from them, but it's going to a better cause. It's an Amazon box, so I'm super hopeful that there's something from Amazon in here. Maybe a nice computer, maybe a brand new car, you never know. And it looks like Halloween costumes. Oh, nice. Is that the Mad Hatter? For anybody out there, put it in the comments. Is this the Mad Hatter's hat? It looks like it might be. We got... Oh, this is nice. This might fit. Costumes and stuff. A little one. Oh, that's cute. For a kid, I think, maybe. Green magic.
magic scarf. It smells like her magic. All right, here we go. Um, Minnie Mouse in her old age uh, headband. She's starting to droop a little bit. A bow tie. Second bow tie. Some gypsy scarves. A dirty golden Pandora. A Pandora sweater? Hmm, that might actually be worth something. Some more Halloween costumes. I kinda I kinda like this, especially with Halloween coming up. I was hoping there'd be more decorations in here. A fedora. Who doesn't like to wear a fedora? All the ladies love fedoras. Some more. Ooh. Some weird dust in this one. Somebody did not like this fedora. Some more gypsy scarves. More dresses. I'll try these on when I get home. You never know. Some hairspray. There we go. What color is this? This is spray on shampoo out. Poo is spelled a little funny. Oh, here we go. There we go. Let me find the pair. Let's see if this works. I wish I found gold. And not just comedy gold. There he is. That's the Mad Hatter's hat. So what was that other one? Somebody has to know. All right, the dog costumes too. That's awesome. And the rest of the stuff in here looks like just thongs and underwear, so we're not going to go through that. Alright, so we got a women's Nike Air Max sequin. These can go for about $75 new. They're probably about $150 in the store, but let's see what we got actually in the box. Alright, we got a broken pot that says, oh, I love you. I do love you guys. We got a Tim Hortons bowl for some soup. I'm looking at it, it looks like somebody was doing their own type of experiment in it. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't want to get too close and touch it. Get some DNA on me or something. And not only that, we did find a Disney exclusive Disney heirloom. This is one of the coolest things I've seen. It is a Winnie the Pooh. Now the box is damaged, but that is okay because it's not destroyed. But the Winnie himself looks fantastic. And uh, on the back here, it's got a Closed letters, a certificate of authenticity. So this is very nice, very cool. I don't see a price tag on it, but we're gonna look it up and see how much it's worth. Looks like they cut it off right there. Still, what a wonderful find. This is super cool. Somebody would love to have this. It's got a little weight to it. It says Hitchin. I don't know what Hitchin is, but it is four bags out of 20, which is kind of weird because I thought this was a box. But we will see what we got. Got my knife away from the sausage. This thing is super sharp, cuts through anything. Like said tape. Cuts through anything. There it is. <laughs> Alright. It's a great knife. Alright, let's see what's in the hitchin. Oh man, a bunch of knives. In George fashion to find a bunch of knives. Ooh, this one's sticking out at me. Nice little steak knives. Knives. Oh yeah, that's a nice little block. If we can find the whole set, this could be about 10, 15 bucks. I've never seen Chef Boyardee on anything besides for a can of raviolis. Found it like that. This looks like part of a refrigerator. Maybe the rest of the fridge is in there. Oh man, look at you guys. Some decent. I think I actually have this in my house as well. If I don't, I will. Another nice mirror. Fun with Zip Zap. I've never heard of Zip Zap. But I'm sure that's somebody's favorite childhood book. Bistro. Bistro. Coffee. Cafe. Oh, wow. Here we go. Cookbook. What a find. Super exciting. Oh, very nice. This I'm actually probably gonna wear this in a couple episodes. It does say Adventure Awaits. I hope you guys can read that. That is the uh, 
one of the slogans that the What the Hales crew uses. Here's the parrying knife. So we're about 75% complete on that. I got a nice hydro flask for all you girls out there that like your turtles and stuff. Some nice Tupperware, this glass. Some popsicle makers. This is probably what's been leaving all the poop in the unit. It's got a can opener with a bottle opener on the back. That's nice too. Easily. 10, 20 bucks for that. Another knife. Knife. I think we're only missing. Looks like three. Oh, nice. A little fish flipper. Some more Tupperware. We don't have the rest of this, but we're going to look forward to another box. Alright, we got the next box here. It's another Amazon box, which I love to find because you never know what people are ordering from Amazon. And it is destroyed. And Oh, 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 oh! And Amazon's Basics. This looks to me like a... There's nothing in the pockets. Like you would put a tablet or something in here, but there's definitely no tablet, unfortunately. There is a nice little seasoning packet, though, so it's always good to have those. Put that on my food later. Got the uh, left shoe, a pair of Nikes, definitely not my size. Oh, some chalk. Nice, I can mark my stuff so people know it's mine. You're in Dayton, don't do that. Fred and Flynn, a bunch of frogs. It's like me and Ohio Hulk here. Blue shade. My Little Pony uh, Unicorn, which I've never seen before, but this is, it's definitely a TY, so it's an original, it's Sparkle. Now that I think about it, I have heard of Sparkle, and she's got some Star Wars tattoos on her behind there. Pretty cool. Whoa! Hold on a second. I don't want to damage this in any way. I heard it crumple just a little bit. It is a Special Expressions, and it is in there. Whoa! A, porce a genuine porcelain doll. Now, I'm afraid of dolls, so I don't want this. She's got money in there, so maybe I do want this. A valuable collectible. Excellent. This is nice. Somebody would love to have this. That is definitely a collectible. Let's see if we can find a date on it. Ages 8 and up, but if you're 7, I'll still sell it to you. On the down low, of course. Made in 10,279. So this is a futuristic doll. You can't get these anywhere besides for the Philippines, supposedly. All right, so she's got her name on the back, and this looks to be none of these. Maybe Mary? Yeah. Yeah, I think this is Mary. Mary or Michelle. They look like twins to me, so it's one of those two. Very cool find. I'm going to put this off the side so I don't damage it. Anything else? Oh, yes! A destroyed cat in the hat bag. With nothing in it. Oh! my favorite right here. I used to have two English Bulldogs, so this is something I'm probably actually going to keep. I like this a lot. Walter Newton, if you're still alive, I love you. It's taken by my ex. She got the dogs and the house. I'm not going to show that. Sentimentals. Nice flower pot. Very nice iron. Looks to be in good condition. This unit is epic. These are actually collectible. I don't drink wine myself, but if I did, I'd probably do the same thing with it. Oh, here's another another unicorn, the baby. Piece of carpet because All right. magnetic clips. These are always good to have. Put your kids' drawings on your refrigerator. Hey, some more of that Tupperware. It's nice, the bigger one. Bad Seed Mixtape. Somebody's jamming. Oh, oh, what do we got here? The National Foundation of Daniel Boone. There he is with Chief Blackfish, which I don't think it's politically correct to call him black anymore, but 
I'll let it slide this time because this was this predates public correctness. And that's it for this. So actually, one more thing: a broken thing. But that's Play-Doh in there. Yep, that's it. Look at this. All right. And one thing that is surprising in here is a pack of Cigarello sweets. So these there are definitely some bad kids in here. So we're on to the next box here, and once again, it is four bags out of 15, but it's still they still look like boxes to me. Let's get the Kniff. Super sharp Kniff. You just gotta put some force into it. Yeah, doesn't fail any other time. All right, here we go. Let's put this away. And we got DVDs. Those are always fun to find. Let's hope the DVDs are actually in there. I don't know what we got. Some more Tupperware. I always get some Tupperware and a hat of some sort. Oh, some birthday sand. If anybody's turning eight anytime soon, I've got some birthday sand for your children. Oh, a new pair of booties. And for you train lovers, it is a minion train set. Despicable me. Oh, wow, yeah, it's a whole box of DVDs. Let's get a look at this. Got The Nun. I think that's a scary movie. It's a red box, so I'll probably return that. Just so they don't get any more fees. Paul? Oh, yeah, we've got a decent bit of Disney DVDs in here. Some Rango. Some important Here's a Who. It's definitely in there. Oh, here we go. Here's a cult classic. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Every parent's favorite, Frozen. Who could forget that? That's gonna go next to my Olaf Olaf. New Year's Eve, it's not in there. That's the one they wanted. And amongst all these tapes, I find a book. Hmm. Strange. And another. This is actually. One of those little uh, pet shop toys, I believe. And it's probably what else has been leaving all those little droppings everywhere. That's it for this box. Just a bunch of DVDs. Which I am going to be signing these and we'll see if we can sell them for nothing. Alright, so here I am with the High Hulk. He's going to tell you what he's going to do. I'm going to post a link for his channel and he's actually going to go through some of the rest of the boxes here. So you got to go over to his page if you want to see what's in these boxes. Alright. I'm Wayne, Ohio Hulk, uh, doing some storage unit stuff with George George today. Been my buddy for a long time, getting me into it. Alright, so we're moving things around and I thought this was empty, but there's definitely something rattling around there and it says We Bolt 2017. I have no clue what that means. Probably never will. So let's open it up. Oh, no way! It's impossible, I'm breaking it. I don't think it was ever meant to be open. Oh, you got me! I'm the one that's been... Making all the poop in there. Ah. <laughs> oh man, this thing stinks. He's got me. <laughs> that thing stinks. Nice, nice little Mickey Mouse. I definitely broke something. Look at that, it's stuck in there. Nice. I guess I'm the Ohio Hulk now. <coughs> oh, dude, that thing does stink. You still record? Appreciate that, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here's the. Oh, there's the hose for the. Um, for the washer that we got. We've got a lot of electronics, a lot of cords, a lot of power cords, and this is actually the box that we showed you earlier at DirecTV. They probably want this back. Contact me, DirecTV, and I'll ship this back to you for a nice price. We've got a fan to help cool down a laptop. A bunch more cords. It looks like some strengthening bands. Definitely use those. Feeling a little weak lately. Haven't been eating enough storage unit food. Oh, and they did take the hard drive or the uh, memory pack out of there, I believe, or battery pack, there. something. But here it is, the Dell Inspiron. It's pretty nice. Show you what's inside. Oh, it's got one of those lock, child locks on it, which is really good. Yeah, what a nice laptop. Easily made your money back on this unit. Oh, here we go. Got a router cords in there too. Some more direct TV stuff, I'm telling you. Contact me. You'll get it back. Oh, nice car jack. That belongs to the electronics. 
people are well organized. That's pretty much it, it's just cords and stuff. But nice, you definitely find the power cord in there somewhere. All right, so while we were moving things, I thought this was just like maybe a little TV stand, but the lid comes off and when I opened it up, oh, it's full of toys. Barbies, sorry about that folks. We've got the Ken doll to match. Look at him doing the splits. He's so excited to be in there with the naked ladies. We've got frozen stuff, stuffed animals, something in here. This makes noise or something. Hold on, his pants unzip. Turns on, but he is on, so he's not working right now. Tons of Mickey Mouse stuff. Oh, she still talks. She's super excited. Listen to her. She's excited to be out of there. She's blowing us kisses. Sad little puppy dog eyes. You keep it going over there. I'm busy. Oh no. We've got some shredding and some poop. Hopefully there's nothing in here. Oh nice. Another Olaf for my collection. They're growing. More toys. Oh hey, one of those sock puppet things. A lot of Barbie dolls. I wonder why they're all naked. That's kind of weird. Lots of collectible toys in here. Lots of Barbie dolls. Lots of Mickey and Minnie. Olaf and My Little Pony. She's shedding. That's what she shed. Shout out. Cool. This was definitely unexpected. This was a nice little find. 